It's southern style cooking with international comfort food flavors. Some restaurants get you in and out in a matter of minutes. Others will keep you around for an evening. And then there are the ones where you can actually lay down your head. Welcome to the Meridor on Grandin Road in Roanoke. We're a wedding venue and an event center before we were anything else. We have six rental B&B spaces. We have a, a big outdoor venue with a bar, indoor ballroom, and then two dining spaces within. Director and executive chef Seth Brubaker has been at the helm here for a little more than a year. But his history with this 1916 home goes back more than a decade. It's cool. It's, um, I got married here 10 years ago, which is just crazy anyways. Yeah, my wife's picture is still up on the wall. So yeah, it's, everything has come around to fruition. It's like, I know I'm supposed to be here. The journey to park Seth here took him all over in his food truck. You might remember the former hometown eat, Home. The tight quarters of that truck also prepared him for the tight kitchen here. I started off in the truck, so it's funny. The kitchen here is very, very small. Um, we, we always say it's in small kitchen, big flavors, but uh, you know, I had a lot of training for it. I had planned on being on the truck for a lot longer than I thought. I never thought that it would turn over so quickly and that I would find a home, ironically. As for the home itself, Seth went door to door asking people in the Raleigh Court neighborhood what they wanted the Meridor to be. One thing that they asked for was uh, one of these old homes that they could actually come inside and dine in and, and be able to enjoy the history of the house and get some really nice food or some really nice wine. The history of this home, it's everywhere from the pictures, the decor, even the pipes in and outside one of the upstairs showers. So with a place this nice, the food must live up to it. And believe me, it does. Plus, it doesn't break the bank. We wanted to make sure that our pricing was not um, gonna keep Brandon away for, for one thing. It's kind of why we do specials every night. We wanted to keep the heritage of the house, like so really have a strong Southern style menu. I mean, we've got succotash, Southern cheese boards. You know, pimento cheese here and bacon jam. Well, what goes better with bacon than a little cheese? but then you can go and travel down to New Orleans and get some oysters and mufaladas. And that is a straight uh, bourbon street style sandwich. It's going down to the bayou. I definitely get the olives. I am not a fan of olives, but with all this meat in there, it works out. With Seth's background in Asian cuisine, they do a special ramen night on Tuesdays. But two things you'll find on the daily menu are the ramen deviled eggs. Whoa, that is a sushi roll meets grandma's deviled eggs. Two totally, I mean totally opposite ends of the food spectrum. Put a dozen of those down and spicy garlic noodles complete with Thai red pepper, soy, and oyster sauce topped with pork belly and a slow cooked egg. I love the pork, even if the pork wasn't in here. Just the, the pasta and the spice itself is wonderful. That's a good dish. A classic, thick, dense cheesecake. Open Monday through Friday, live entertainment in the backyard, and the six rooms that you can rent, this old house is still full of life. So whether it's a little getaway, your wedding, a southern staple, or a far east cuisine, Seth and his team are ready for you. We want to grow our, our events, and but you can't really grow if people don't know you're here. So the restaurant is just the way for us to open the door and let people in and start experiencing it for what it is. The Meridor, a hometown eat that can take you around the world without ever leaving home.